I've had a continuous career in nursing for a long time now and seen many changes, innovations and some disasters. I've worked in three different healthcare systems internationally, in Australia, UK and the United States. So that's given me a, an interesting and probably quite a unique perspective on healthcare as it is today. And um, I've never really got tired of, of healthcare. I've had some ups and downs. I worked in intensive care for a long time and that's very challenging to you emotionally and physically. And we all move on from that eventually, becoming highly specialised and then often move out into more generalist areas. There are many things you can do as a nurse. You don't have to be a clinician. There are other avenues that you can uh, pursue and still remain a nurse and influence others, particularly younger nurses. I do mentor student nurses and I mentor nurses in business. There's a lot of nurses who are starting up their own business and I've been running my business for 12 years and I've learned a huge amount about myself and developed other skills in order to maintain that. And that's been a very exciting part of my career. If you don't have compassion for the people you're caring for, both the patients that you're caring for or clients in a community setting and the staff that you're working for or working with, who may not have as many uh, years of education and a sort of personal background and an appreciation for where, from where they've come from, I think you become a cog in the, in the system. So you do have to have a, le a level of compassion, um, but be able to temper that with a degree of discernment about where you fit in, how much you can contribute, and when sometimes you have to pass the issue on to somebody else who perhaps is more qualified. And in doing so, I think you're showing compassion because you're not the only person who can deal with this issue. Without compassion, you can't care for everybody the way they need to be cared for. I've cared for prisoners, I've cared for uh, criminals, I've cared for the homeless, and all of those groups of people are very vulnerable in our society and need to be shown this level of compassion that uh, a Prime Minister, a movie star, that might be cared for you both as well. So it's not having a discrimination or showing any discrimination towards one group or the other. Mm. They all deserve a level of compassion mm. in the care that they receive in a whole lot of different ways. Well, we can empathise but not sympathise. There is a difference. And the empathy is being able to stand in somebody's shoes to the extent that you can and appreciate their perspective of the world. I do talk with my students a lot about our perceptions, that as a nurse we have to be hold, able to hold our own perception of the world in our focus, but also hold the perspective of the patient and their family. So it's, it's looking at two images at the same time and appreciating them. If you start to sympathise with your patient and get too close, too close to the family, you get dragged into their, sex, their situation, you lose your objectivity and perhaps place the patient at risk because you can't be objective. 